ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Good morning, tea sippers. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing good today. Sign so back with the video. So I want to talk about the whole Tiffany Haddish situation, honey. So yesterday we had posted on um, Instagram and Twitter about an exchange that Tiffany Haddish had. And shout out to Pop Crave, honey. I've been following them forever. And they ended up shouting us out on Twitter and acknowledging us. And, you know, so thank you so much, Pop Crave. Definitely appreciate the love. Um, so what went down is this. Basically... Tiffany Haddish was being interviewed by ET reporter. Her name is Lauren Zimmer and she's from ET Entertainment Tonight. And basically she asked Tiffany Haddish, has she switched into a costume change? And Miss Tiffany Haddish, honey, was not here for the microaggressions or the shade. Now, let me say this first and foremost. OK, let me kind of bring y'all to how we got here. Now, during the Oscars, you know, the famous Oscars that included Slapgate. Yeah, that one. OK, <laughs> 2022. Um, Tiffany had on this beautiful strapless emerald green gown, which was also designed by Dolce & Gabbana. And that's what she wore on stage. And so later on that night, she went to the Vanity Fair after party. And that's when Lauren Zimmer asked her, you know, did she switch into a costume change? And child, Tiffany was not here for it. So let's go ahead and, um, you know what I'm saying, sip on this tea. Did you do a little, a little costume change? Um, I, I'm not wearing a costume. I'm wearing Dolce Gabbana. <laughs> it's called an evening gown, darling. This is not, no one's paying me for this. I paid for it. It's custom. Thank you. Time of death for me right now. You look gorgeous. This is not an acting gig. This is my life. <laughs> this what fame look like. This what success look like. This what money look like. This what it look like. It's what it look like. When is your book coming out called This What It Look Like? And I will just read the entire book. That book's not video. coming no time soon, but I curse you with joy will be out in November. Okay, okay. And Layla, the last black unicorn will be out next month. I'm doing so much right now. Okay. You I'm just, you know, trying to accomplish a lot of things before 50. What are you doing? Uh, well, I, I'm wondering something. You're out here with no shoes on. I'm jealous. <laughs> no shoes on. I'm Here's Where are the you thing. From? I'm from Chicago. <laughs> and you out here with no shoes on? This is warm weather to me. I know. It's hot out here to you, right? <laughs> All right, so y'all just saw Tiffany Haddish, honey. When I tell you she got her together, she got her all the way together. But right now, Tiffany Haddish is currently trending on social media because a lot of people feel like Tiffany Haddish was doing too much. You know what I'm saying? She took it too far. The lady it did acknowledge her mistake by saying, you know, time of death, 1159, whatever the hell time she said. So people feel like, you know what, Tiffany, you're looking for a moment. People use the word costume change all the time. And, you know, I have heard the word costume change before, but I just feel like sometimes people try us, especially as black women. You know, that's just keeping it real. Like, I really felt what Tiffany was saying. Like, don't come and be like, oh, you know, is that your costume change? Like, I'm in a costume. Nah, I'm in a very expensive Dolce & Gabbana dress, honey. She could have easily just said, you know, I love your dress. Or, oh, okay, so you switched dresses. Okay, who are you wearing? What happened to that question? Who are you wearing? I mean, that would have been smooth. This is still kind of new to her. I know she's been going to events for the past few years, but this is not something she grew up going to. So maybe she didn't know that sometimes they use words like costume change. So for her, it kind of came off as a, you know, a microaggression. But I think that at the end of the day, Tiffany handled herself well, in my personal opinion. I think she played it off with the joke. I think, you know, she said what she had to say. But I laughed. I'm not, <laughs> not going to lie. I definitely kikied when she was like, you're not even wearing any shoes. You know, you got the nerve to question my outfit that I paid good money for. Dolce & Gabbana didn't dress me. I paid for this custom dress and dressed myself and came here, you know, to have a good time. I just think sometimes, you know, you have to let people know, you know what I'm saying, that it's going to be a certain level of decorum and a certain level that you're going to address me. You know what I'm saying? And when you shut stuff down like that, I bet you the next reporter is going to make sure to come at her and say, who are you wearing? That dress is lovely. Who's the designer? 
You know what I'm saying? Let's start there with, oh, you had a costume change. It just kind of came off, you know, low-key shady. And let's not forget, as a fashion connoisseur myself, okay? <laughs> Even though I shop at Walmart and shit. But whatever. You know what I'm saying? Don't judge me. I do, you know, I do consume fashion and modeling and fashion magazines and stuff. And I've watched award shows in the past. And usually they ask these actors, actresses, artists, and entertainers, especially if they're white, they tend to ask them, what are they wearing? Who is the designer? That's usually what they say. So I don't think Tiffany's far off by being offended by the word costume change, even though, yes, costume change has been used. But I believe costume change is more or less used in theater, in my personal opinion. I feel like when it's a very high end, classy event like the Emmys, the Oscars, the Grammys, you know, those award shows that people put on these tall pedestals, um, I think certain words, you know, invoke a certain level of decorum. That's just my personal opinion. Because when I watch E! News, I haven't really seen Julia Rancic asking people, oh, you had a costume change? It's usually, who are you wearing? Who's the designer? Anyways, here goes the damn receipts. Watch this. Before I let you go, who are you wearing this evening? Vivian, Vivian Westwood. Westwood. Who are you wearing? Thanks. Tom Ford. There you go. Who are you wearing tonight? Uh, who am I wearing? Yes, oh, she won't she. Who are you wearing this evening? Show us, show us her outfit here. I'm wearing a she. Who are you wearing tonight? I'm wearing a, a tuxedo. The question, who are you wearing, is as prevalent on the red carpet as the celebrities who walk it. The question lets celebrities give credit to the designers who made their lavish outfits, and it's long strengthened the relationship between the fashion and entertainment industries. All right, so y'all just saw that video. Okay, so receipts. So she's not crazy for kind of being offended, like, hey, why are you coming at me with this costume change bullshit when, you know, celebrity upon celebrity upon celebrity has been asked, who are you wearing? Who is the designer? So I kind of understand Tiffany for kind of getting in her feelings, but let's keep it real. I don't think she was nasty. She didn't slap her. She didn't pull a Will Smith, okay? She just basically low-key clowned her as a comedian. You're supposed to turn awkward moments into jokes, okay? So I don't think she did anything wrong, but again, that's just my opinion. The internet has their own opinion. So a lot of people are divided on this. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys comments and what people have to say about the situation. So y'all go ahead and check this out. All right, so you guys just saw the comments and the folks going back and forth. So people are definitely split on this. Half the people feel like, you know what? You're on a stage. It's the Oscars. It's considered a costume. Other people feel like it was definitely some, you know, microaggressions in there. At the end of the day, Tiffany has set a precedence for how she wants to be talked to and treated on the red carpet, you know. So I just feel like there could have been a better choice of words, in my personal opinion. Um... You know, like she said, it's not a costume. I paid for this. And I still believe that they should have just came at her and said, who are you wearing tonight? You look beautiful. Not, did you have a costume change? <laughs> it just kind of came off shady. And the lady knew that she messed up. I will say that. Um, she did acknowledge that, you know, her mistake. And, you know, you could tell she was visibly embarrassed. So hopefully they both learned a lesson from this. So now in other Oscar news, you guys do not know, Jim Carrey is currently trending as well because he was on Good Morning America today and he basically stated his opinion and what he felt about the whole Will Smith uh, Chris Rock situation so I want you guys to go ahead and watch that and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary unfold and then what happened after I was sickened I was sickened by the standing ovation I felt like Hollywood is just spineless on mass and uh, it just it really felt like oh this is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. There was some question today about if anyone else had walked from the audience and done that, they would have been escorted out by security or maybe even arrested. The police asked, asked Chris if he wanted to file charges. 
They asked Chris, do you want to file charges? And Chris apparently said, no, he did not. He doesn't want the hassle. I, I'd have, I'd have uh, for, announced this morning that I was suing Will for $200 million because that video is going to be there forever. It's going to be ubiquitous. You know, that insult is going to last a very long time. If you want to yell from the audience and disapprove or sh show a disapproval or say something on Twitter or whatever, you, you know, you do not have the right to, to walk up on days because they said words. No, no, I agree. I, I think we all agree on that. I just thought, Jim, that it escalated to that. You know what I mean? That it escalated to that level. It didn't escalate. Mm -hmm. It came out of nowhere because Will has something going on inside him that's frustrated. And I, I, I wish him the best. I really do. I don't, I don't, you know, mm -hmm. I don't have anything against Will Smith. He's done great mm -hmm. things. But that was have not a to good moment. It cast a, a pall over everybody's shining moment last night you know a lot of people worked really hard to get to that place and to have their moment in the sun and, and to, to get their award for the really hard work they did and, a, and, a, and it, it is no mean feat to go through all the stuff you have to go through when you're nominated for an Oscar it's a gauntlet of devotion that you have to do and uh, and you know just it was just a selfish moment to cast a pall over the whole thing all right, so you guys just saw what Jim Carrey had to say. And Jim Carrey kept it real, you know. And Jim Carrey has been keeping it real for a while, honey. They've been trying to dismiss him as crazy and everything else. He finally got woke a few years ago and just, like, went off on one of these red carpets. And he ain't really ain't been the same since. But he's starting to get work again. He's going to be in the new Sonic movie. But I think he made some real points of, like, you know, just that sheep mentality. You know, when people see things, everybody is just going with the flow and, you know, not calling this person out or holding them accountable. And what I'm seeing this morning, it seems like the narrative is starting to shift. I'm seeing, you know, different posts now and, you know, people calling for accountability, especially like, you know, the Hollywood folks, TMZ. So I'm noticing a little bit of a shift this morning about the whole Will Smith situation. Again, do I feel like he needs to be locked up? Absolutely not. Again, if Chris Rock is not going to press any charges, I'm not losing sleep about the situation. But I do think, like I said in my live stream yesterday, that it was disrespectful. And so a lot of people are weighing in, including the celebrities are weighing in now as well. So anyways, I just wanted to bring y'all some quick news. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on everything that went down between Tiffany Haddish and the reporter. Do you agree with how Tiffany Haddish responded or do you feel like she was being over the top and disrespectful? And then how do you guys feel about Jim Carrey's interview that's going viral right now on Twitter? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure that you're still subscribed to this channel, honey, because they love to unsubscribe my tea sippers. Also, feel free to share the video, and I will talk to you guys later. Deuces.